Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. In my previous video, we saw how to connect to SQL Server from Excel and get the data from a particular table or a query and render it in Excel sheet. Now in this video, I'll show you how to do the same but render the data as a pivot report. So this was the data that we got from SQL Server. And now you know to get the similar data in a pivot report, let's open a new sheet. Okay, and the way same, you have to just click on data and if you want to do same thing you can just use the existing connection the existing connection is this one that we created last time just click and open and just choose pivot table report and click ok so you'll get all the four columns that we selected in the connection okay and uh, by these four names you know, so pivot basically is used to do slicing dicing and do some analysis so these four names would not be a uh, you know beneficial or a good example for us so I just want to you know group people by their last name so I'll just drop the last name first and then I'll drop the first name okay after that now by default it drops all the data in one column so you can split it out I'll just go to the field settings and I don't want subtotals and show item tables in tabular format and click OK now you can see your last name is coming here and first name is here so as you can see here the last name is son is having a lot of people having this last name son as surname then few people have these last names and Adams is the other last name that a lot of people have and if I collapse it you will see you know, few more people like this so this is not a very good example to show for pivot so let me go ahead and you know open a new sheet and we can see a good example I'll go to other sources from SQL server to create a new connection I'll just use the database engine instance and paste it here windows authentication click next and adventure works 2014 and now i have to select my so here what i'll do is i'll go and use the view view employee department okay that is under the human resources schema i'll click next and click finish click yes Okay, so now it gives me option for a table or pivot table report. I'll click the pivot table report and click OK. So now it does not render the data here automatically, but gives me options to render by which particular column. Okay, so I'll have the department first because I want to see how many people, what all people are in which department. Then I'll have the first name and then I'll have the last name. Okay, now again, everything is in the same column. So I will split these out. Okay, okay, and again for the last name, none and tabular format. Okay, so now you can see what all people belong to what all departments here. And I can even have filters so that I can, you know, uh, separate them out with group names. So I have the group name. So let's see if I want to just see in manufacturing group what are the departments. So uh, these are the two departments production and production control. and we have few people in production control but a lot of employees in production department uh, if I select the quality assurance I'll have these many people I can even multi select here by just clicking like this so sales and marketing and quality assurance I'll get both of them okay so this is how you create pivot reports by connecting to SQL server just like the table okay and I hope you like the video please like it if you really like it and please subscribe thank you very